Okay, and the first video for the channel begins. This channel is for, um, posting random stuff. Could even just be completely unrelated to this game. Um, I just have, like, basically no effort put into it, just talk. Um, like, I might make a video about Mario Kart Wii being based or something. But right now, this is, um, time and strat predictions for categories in this game. I've just chucked random music in the background, some Pokemon Remix shit. Uh, playlist. Because I need some background music at least. Um. So yeah, um. The game's in a weird spot right now. It feels like a lot of the categories are quite optimized, and it feels like you can't get much faster, but of course we've thought that many times before, before something saves the day. So it's genuinely hard to predict stuff if a strat will exist or whatever. Obviously, first up is no pause storage. I, f I feel like... Okay, so... The run was amazing. I made three mistakes, and they add up to like 20 seconds, but two of the mistakes are basically negated because I... I got other, other stuff that I don't normally get that like negates those two, ti those two time losses. So... It's, it's really hard to say if this run has actually any realistic time save. Um, however, there are small things that have been realized or implemented that save time over this. So, this is a 101.30, but it's only a 30 by like 0.03 or something, so... You know, it's like practically at 29. Um, the strats that exist now are fast sandwich out of bounds. Which, save upwards of 4.5, but, like, that's extremely rare. Even, even like, on a good day, my average, I save, like, 4 seconds on a good day. Um, even that might be a bit of a, bit of a high estimate. So, if I, but, you do it twice, if you, if you get it twice, you save 8 seconds. Save 8 seconds. So, you know, that's... Not a lot of time, but it definitely helps. It's still more than we had before. The thing is, though, is that it does add difficulty to the already difficult run. Um, however, with the original Sandwich Out of Bounds, I was getting it, like, even on... Well, making an average out of it, good and bad days, probably, like... Probably, like... I, I either want to say 70 or 75. It's really hard to say. If it's 70 or 75. Um... But this new one, I'm getting it like 65, which might not sound like much, but it's just a thing of just doing it twice. That's the issue. It is hard enough to the point where I have considered doing SD-102 earlier in the run. Right now, it's almost as late as it could be. It could only be done a little over a minute later into the run, like just a little over a minute later. Other than that, I'm doing it as late as possible. I was thinking of doing it like during 3k, either after Bounceless or after Spongebob. And that would be implemented way earlier in the run then, but then it'd make BBBH and rubber dub like way more aids if I fuck them up. Um So I might just leave and then I'd have to change my rubber dub two gold. And my rubber dub two gold is absolutely godlike. And I can't beat it because I did it I did it so fast that I needed to get the wood one frame to make it over to the other side and I got it, so I can't beat it unless I accidentally manage to do that again. Manage to somehow also get the one frame with it and still, like, just don't lose my shit and just save those frames over my previous time I got, so. It's- it will technically happen one day, probably, but when I say it'll never happen, I mean, it, it won't happen like this year, you know what I mean? Um. Anyway, so... That's like 8 seconds of time save from Sandwich Driven, right? Already, again, it makes it run a little bit harder, but not by too much. So 8 seconds of time save, semi-realistic. Okay, 8 seconds. It's negated by the rubber of 1 frames anyway, but still, you know, 8 seconds. Okay, alright, we're getting somewhere. The next thing is, um... Now that we're men. Um, so my gold has a ledge grab skip I haven't gotten since 2021. So, this isn't really a thing of how much I can gold by. This allows me to gold again, finally, but only by, like, milliseconds, you know, frames. Um, because this bungee time save saves a second and a half if done perfectly. 
And even then, you're not, you're not going to do it perfectly most of the time. So most of the time, you're going to save like 1.3 or whatever. Even if you do get a good. Um, but okay, I haven't grinded it that much. So okay, if I proper grinded it, all right, 1.5 seconds of time save, right? So that is 1.5 seconds of time save. So along with the 8 that's 9.5 seconds of time save, right? So like... That, that's that's good. That's definitely good. Uh. Um, and then the last thing is that there's this like tiny. Tiny. Well, I, I go to junkyard in my PB, but the junkyard goal was bad. So, I nearly gold a junkyard before with no ledge grab skip strat. This NSA is point like seven, I believe. And I grabbed the, st uh, the stack at the beginning, which loses like half a second. So, I lost 1.2 seconds. But I still only missed gold by point one or point two. I think it was point two. And then I got a gold in that run by about point two, I think it was. So, this should still be a second left in theory. And obviously, it's like, oh, well, that's off you go. But it's like, I just mean like. Psychologically, there's more time save when you actually, like, have, like, a good gold for something, you know? So, a perfect gold be, like, a second faster, so... I technically want to say that there's still time save in Junkyard. Like that, because that Junkyard was just not good. Um... So, in that sense, I want to say that that is technically time save. That it wasn't in my run, because it fucked it up a little bit, you know what I mean? I have yet to do no pulse storage where I actually get that good because I just implemented it before I got that PB and I fucked it up a little bit. Like, I don't even remember. Like, I want to let me go full screen. Is it because I'm? Oh my god! This... Okay, I've never had that happen before. What if I like refresh the page? Also, in case you're wondering about this. It's just my run, so don't worry, like, we don't verify. The mods can't verify their own runs because it's, like, unfair. They need to wait, they go through the winning process like everyone else. Alright, cool. So, if I go to times two speed, then, as you can see... So, that movement just then wasn't perfect, for sure. And then I got stuck on uh, that little bit just then. So already the same this just ain't a chief, you know. Um This is looking like fine so far though, the rest of it so far. I just wanted like a quick refresher on shit. That could have been done a little faster, but that was like fine. When I say a little faster, I really do mean like a tiny amount. Yeah, so that that just then was not like perfect because God, the game feels so slow after doing point two. <laughs> I mean times two. Dude, how is the game this slow? What? Okay, I think maybe it's my video playback. There's no way it's like this fucking slow. It's faster to single jump rather than double jump, so I lost frames there. And then my my line wasn't like perfect. That could have been done a tiny bit faster. I did get a push though, that saved like a tiny bit, and then I could have pressed R on that a little faster. Also, it's, it's if I was more aligned, like straight with the checkpoint, like over here, it would that also would have been a tiny bit faster. Of course, then that's nitpicky, but I just mean like there is some tiny amount of time save there technically. That I could be like, oh yeah, there's some time save here. Um, because right now we're at 9.5 seconds of time save. So with that... It's like... It's like... 9.8 like realistically, and 9.7. Let's just say 9.5 for now. I probably just wasted too much time talking about point, point whatever. Um... um 
Let me think. Um, I think that's all the implemented time serve since the run. Oh wait, no, no, no. There is technically another one because my I again it was one of those ones where I implemented it just before. Uh, yeah, and then I fucked up. So there's this like hop thing in Knucklehead, and I just. It's stupid. You have to go way further to the left than you think you need to. Way further to the left. So... You know, like, that's that's just, like, that's why... In my PB, I fucked it up. I don't have a goal with it, but it saves 0.25, like, exactly, I think. And with the Junkyard thing, that's that adds up to, like, half a second, so... 10 seconds, uh, basically, over... Over my thing, 10 seconds. So there's 10 seconds of, like, realistic time save. With the other time saves, that adds up to 30 seconds, which means one flat, but obviously, that's just not quite how it works. Now, in, um, the early game... I get my early game was really good, except for like seven seconds and 3k bungee or something, but it got negated by getting the one frames and rubber dub. But because of the sandwich thing, I actually could semi realistically be minus eight. Like, be minus seven, but then actually plus my all minus zero because of rubber dub, but then save the eight. So now minus eight seconds, right? So that's all well and good. Uh, minus eight. And, um, the issue then is maintaining that. I think my weenie was, like, slightly unoptimal, but it's, like, when it's, like, that little, it's, like, who cares? You know, it's hardly even notable. And then, like, in fucking... Uh... Yeah, wait, hold on. Um... Yeah, so, ten seconds... Oh no, I mean 8 seconds. I didn't get spew boost, but that's obviously unrealistic. I, dude, I especially recently, it's like the worst consistency I've ever had with it. But even not counting around this time, I was st still getting on average. You save, not saving the full 5 seconds, but saving any amount of time whatsoever. Probably like, 5th of the time. <laughs> like, it's really fucking bad. The best I ever got, it was a quarter of the time, I remember, I did a log. And I stopped doing the log, because that was- and then it just got even worse. It was like a 1 in 5 or 1 in 6 now, instead of 1 in 4. It's not worth it. Even if I grinded it every day to now, yeah, sure, maybe I get, like, half the time, but, like, imagine the amount of fucking work I would have had to put in. I just, I can't mentally deal with that, you know what I mean? It'll always be at least somewhat inconsistent by nature. It'll always be. Um. So, yeah, nine... I mean, eight seconds. Um. It's really hard to maintain this eight at this point. And then, um, this is the 1.5 from now that I'm in Bungie, but again, I this was after playing pretty well. So I'd say, like, allow for a little bit of leeway, I'll let myself get that time save, but it's negated by other shit, so now I'm still, like, minus 8. And then, um... God, maintaining a minus 8. Granted, there is also... Thrown through and um plank ice skating. But there's also Dennis 1 2 frame, so that's that gets negated. The throwing through. It it's so real in reality, there's actually like 15 seconds of time save. But even then, it's like So I can't like make us basically any more mistakes, because that only allows for enough leeway for, like, a bunch of small fuck-ups I'm bound to just make in the run anyway. So right now, can I realistically PB? Technically, I think I could, but even after grinding for a while, I think it would be, like, no more than the five-second PB, even after, like, a few weeks of grinding. I think, like, a 101, 28, or 27 or something would be, like, at the moment, anyway. Um, anyway, the whole point was, like, what I predict... I think Weenie Out of Bounds will be, like, a thing in future, but in it'll save more time. Either a faster Out of Bounds, or, like... 
Maybe even avoiding going out of bounds entirely. I don't think we'll be able to do that, but... Maybe there's some hope. Um... I got a bit of a... Hold on, I need to, like... Every time I get, like, a fucking... I'm always getting, like, some cuts and stuff on my, on my fucking... Fingers or whatever, just, like, cat scratches and stuff. Got a bit bloody just now, so I'm using, um... Hand sanitizer. Got a ton of this. Even, even, like, we just coincidentally had some before COVID, and now it's just, like... We still have a bunch. It's just useful. Because it's so, like... It just kills, like, all infection. There was one time where it... Because I had an infected toe before. It was really pussy and stuff. It looked like it was going to happen again with, like, my finger or whatever. I just used, like, hand sanitizer for a couple days. And it's a fucking actual miracle worker. <laughs> really disinfect shit. Um. Anyway, so... With that in mind of, like, not being able to PB by much right now. And... Weenie Out of Bounds will probably be a thing, but like, right now it saves, if you do it perfectly, like three seconds, and I just don't think that's just enough. I just don't. It needs to, it needs to save with its current difficulties. It needs to save like at least, bare minimum, like five seconds. At, like, and that's if I'm fucking down bad. Like, holy. Maybe down fucking bad for that shit, bro. So, I just don't see it happening, really. At the moment, but I do in future, in some capacity. Just not right now, and it's not how it operates right now. Even if we could get out of bounds 100% of the time, I get the bounds 100% of the time. Can we get the... You know, you bounce back in kind of inconsistently. From the, from the, from the boat. Even if that's consistent. That's like almost no time save, and you, you can't really save time with it in non-BBBH forwards categories, because... Except for, like, cheat categories, but when it comes to, like, no major glitches, like... Like, like what, what are you gonna, like... Like, what are you gonna do when, uh... Because, like, you, you need to backtrack using the weenie load, but the fastest way of getting, of doing weenie out of bounds is without the load. You could still theoretically save time with it, but I think it'd save more like one or two seconds instead of three. And so it's, at that point, it's just not saving anything, effectively. Especially RTA. N n you know, I'm not talking like plain put, like, talking RTA. Like, was it actually really, even if you're good at it, you know? So right now, in its current state, no. But in future, I think there'll be something to make it faster, or easier, or something. I don't think it's gonna save like 50 seconds, but I do think there'll be like something, you know what I mean? Um, hold on, I got a notification on Discord. Okay, it's just Punky's Discord. Um, I'll go back in the full screen. So, what do I... Well, actually, I should think of other places for time save. I don't... Like, I don't understand how bowling in Netherman Bungie is only fast for that one target. I understand why it saves time for that target, but, like, what about the other targets? I just don't understand, like... You can charge a full shot... Um, ball shot... And, and destroy the last, like, six targets at the end. And I'm thinking of it in my head, and I cannot comprehend how it doesn't, like, save time. But we've already timed it before, and it doesn't save time. Granted, that was years ago. I could try it again, but, like, I just don't think it's, you know. However, you wouldn't be able to do both. You wouldn't be able to bowl both at the top, like, the six and the one, because shit's on, like... You need to, like, bowl, and then... Uh, you get onto the bungee hook before the ball even destroys the one target. So in that sense, yeah, maybe it wouldn't save time, but... There's also some other strats, by the way, that, that are known, that aren't done. But, like, the, the last notable one is Chris Token Animation Skip. You need to do a slower and much harder version of Chris Skip. Get, like, a ledge grab and then ball onto the token from above and drown. And it's quite precise, and it's a bitch to practice, because after you collect the token... So you need two save files to practice it. And wait, to, and then you gotta, like, load to save, like, copy it. And you load into the beginning of Area 2, so you gotta, like, fucking work your ass over there every single time, and such a bitch. Really need a practice mod for that to even see if that's, like, viable. It'd be AIDS as fuck. Um... 
Is that ba I mean, there's also SCDA Fast Corkscrew, but it's only ever been done RTA once. It's like, basically, look. This music's kind of good. Deoxys Battle Theme. I'm liking this. Um... So I, the gist of what I'm saying is that it's hard to imagine many more out of bounds stuff. You know, for, for driving levels, obviously you need like checkpoint triggers and stuff. Like you, you need to get them all in like the correct order and shit. Can't just skip them. If we could have a find a way to avoid them, that's different. Hans disable no because Hans gets automatically enabled per load. And I feel like the only way that I'd theoretically be able to be disabled is bowl storage, and we already know about bowl storage. So... Other than Weenie being implemented in Runs in Future, and maybe Chris animation skip? I can't really think of anything else that could be... Sunday Out of Bounds? I don't really see it. Um... Oh yeah, there's also, like, what I call fast monster skip, where you just, like... You just go, like, half a second faster or something, but it's really hard to practice, because when you respawn there, sometimes you get a white screen flashbang, and it lasts ages, and it just completely fucks with you, so it's really hard to practice. You, you can't really even practice it, I would say. Um... I feel like the only way you could is it was with like a practice mod and you press like a bumper or something to reset the thing. Like the scene. Like I feel like that's like the only way to be able to and a practice mod for a half a second time save is kind of ridiculous. Especially when I get it like a third of the time anyway. I swear dude, every time I go for it though. Well not like two thirds of the time it feels like I just miss it. That's like half a second. I feel like, you know, of course you're gonna feel like you're at a limit. Oh yeah, there's a 1.2 second time save in Neptune. If you go as close to him as you possibly can, without him knocking you back, all four times, you save 1.2 seconds. And each time, like, if he responds in any way, then you just lost your run because you lose so much time. And it's pretty hard and horrible. It, it, you need to get uh, close to him as fast as possible as well. You can't, like, flounder around. Because... The game is trying to process his, um, dizzy animation. So while it's trying to process it, that's when you walk as close to him as you possibly can. Otherwise, like, if you do it too late, he'll knock you back. If you're too far away, then obviously, you know, can't do shit, so... It just... yeah. It's just, it's just like a fuck thing. Um... So, I think that one flat will probably not happen this year. It's already March, and I could, you know, obviously you don't know what strats are going to get implemented, but generally we're just, we, like, we've been so desperate to save frames that I'm uploading stuff to TSSM Archive that saves frames, like, literally two frames or something. Like, Sunday Nitro Management and stuff like that, I've done a bunch of shit like that. And even then, I did most of the things I could possibly think of, so there's very little now that, like, where I'm wondering, like, oh, does this save time? My summer best is, like, close to 59, but it's it's one of those so close yet so far situations. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's just fucked. And, like, yeah, I just don't see one flat happening this year. Even, because, again, I said it was, like, technically, like, a little over 30 seconds or whatever, but, like, not gonna actually happen in a run. And I could imagine, like, one more strat being found that saves, like, four seconds or something, whether regardless of, like, how hard it is, as long as it's easy enough to put into runs. Um, I, I would imagine that by the end of the year, the world record will be, like... It'll probably be like 101.12 or something with like theoretical one flat potential, but not quite there unt until we get to like early 2024, like March or something when it's like finally like not just theoretically possible, but just straight up like possible on a really good run. So I, that's what I think. And then 59, God knows, but also I want to make a side note of like when I think I'll get 59 Summer Burst. Um, my summer best right now 
if I got like a really good SD one hundred two gold, it'd be like one hundred seven point three, uh, one flat oh seven point three x. So that would be like really good. I'm missing some stuff. You know, the point two five in Knucklehead, as I said before, there's like half a second in Plank Area One, maybe a half a second in Plank Area Two. Um, like some milliseconds or whatever in. Now the women, uh, area two. Um, some golds are just completely unbeatable, like rock slides and rubber dub two. Throwing fruit, could, because this is actually I actually forgot to mention this earlier. I looked at my throwing fruit gold recently because it's from 2021. I didn't know like how I got it so fast. It's because I cartwheeled to destroy the melon at the end rather than spinning, and that definitely saves frames. So I could probably beat it. I really want to look into throwing fruit cycles. I really want to do that, but nothing ever feels fast. I just need to, like, just try, like, a bunch of different shit and just see, like, what works. You know, I feel like it might even be fast to, like, get hit at one point for the cycle or something, because you might be able to prevent an electric cycle, or, like... I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... Yeah, just thinking random shit. Or even purposely slow down at the beginning to get a faster cycle overall. Like, I'm, I'm really, like, I, I think this has got to be something like that. Um. Anyway, yeah, so maybe not... 101.12 it was my prediction. Uh, by the end of the year. Eh. If there's, like, a strat as well and I implement a couple... I'd say, like, 101.15. 101.15 by the end of the year. Um... Nah, nah, I'll say 101.12. I'll say 101.12 by the end of the year. And then one flat in, like, by, like, April or May. Anyway, as for the summer best... Even after, like, all the time saves I can think of... We come down to, like, one flat 02, and it's like, fuck... Without a new strat, it might... not. I won't say it's impossible. But I think without any more strats, after the things I said, it might legitimately take months after that. Months. And if my PB's too good, like it is right now, I won't even want to play the category in the first place. I can get that Knucklehead gold. I can get that Plank gold. But I, I, don't, I don't want to play the fucking category. And... Those those two splits I just mentioned only apply to no pause storage. As you know, if I gold Neptune in early powers, it's getting converted to no pause storage because they are identical. But obviously the you know, early powers are shorter, but yeah, like, you know, Gesk one in old tokens is way further in the no pause storage, so it's technically even more impressive that I got a, a gold because it's still taken from it's still as long even longer in the run. That's when I would start feeling at least some amount of fatigue, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's, that's that's my answer. 101, 12, and 59 summer best without new strats. After what I mentioned, 59 summer best. Um, assuming no new strats, um, I reckon that will happen this year. But I think it will happen like in like November or something. Like November, December, or like very early 2024. 2024 will be a leap year, so we one extra day that year. Hopefully it's a good year, so we, so we don't dread the extra day. Um, No major glitches. Like this category name change, by the way. Like, I'm glad nobody bitched about it. Like, like what else are you going to fucking call it? Like, it was called No Mindy Skip, and it didn't specify that it banned a massive trick. It's like... Uh, but, um, it doesn't fucking tell you, like, what fucking... Like, it doesn't tell you in the name what glitches are banned. Like, what counts as a major glitch is arbitrary, and it's like... You mean the trick that saves 20 minutes is not a major trick? Or a glitch? The thing that saves, like, an hour isn't major? The thing that saves the most amount of time in the run... That isn't those two things, where you plank out of bounds and you literally just, like... Press A and walk up to a wall as Patrick. 
Like, that's not major. Like, it's, like, major in the sense of, like, how badly it breaks the game. And bolt storage obviously breaks it. Bolt storage breaks it significantly more. So, like, thinking that, that's a, that this is a bad name is just, like, objectively wrong. I'm not saying anyone said that, but, yeah, I just wanted to throw it out there. The major glitches, um... This run is really, really, really good for when I got it. And I tried to come back to it a few weeks ago, and I was like, wow, this run is really good. Basically, right, it is an absolute god run. Fucking ultra, ultra god gamer god run. Except for, like, 18 seconds off the golden plank, uh, too. Which is so unfortunate. But it's still insanely hard to beat. Now, there is the sandwich out of bounds strat, so that's 12 seconds now. 12 seconds. However, that 65% instead of like 75 is really adding up at this point. I'm going to be resetting more runs in Macho and I'm going to fucking shoot myself for it. Um. So. One. So. 12 seconds, though. Eventually I'll get it. 12 seconds. Okay. And then there's like. Yeah. Like. Junkyard. Uh, ledge grab skip. And then, like, that's basically it. Yeah, I, that's all I can remember for time saves. Why doesn't Jax's thing say what? Hold on. That should say 360, I believe. That's really strange. Um, so for no major glitches, considering the 12 seconds and the 18... If there's, like, one more strat found, yeah, I could see 119 happening. It's bound to be one more time save found before the end of the year, surely. So yeah. My prediction, this is more risky than the no post storage one, but I'll say barely a 119 by the end of the year. As for its summer best, it's hard to say. I don't remember my summer best off the top of my head, and plus, like, I need to retract 8 seconds of it anyway. Or subtract, rather. So yeah, I'm gonna say 119 before the end of the year. I don't know when though. I it'll obviously it'll definitely be like late, uh, pretty late in the year. I'm talking like fucking again, like November, December, or early January. 100%. This run. Was a god run, except I lost like 30 seconds or like 28 seconds or something in Rubber Dub 2. I kept, I choked Rubber Dub Skip. So it's like, oh, I could get the same run again when not choking. Yeah, I technically could, but like, this run is already like an 8 out of 10. And with that massive, massive choke, at least an 8 out of 10. The run was absolutely phenomenal. Like, look, it was on 223 pace from Rubbed Up 2, which I didn't think was possible until this run. Still pretty good overall. See, that's the thing, right? We didn't know 223 was even, like, possible until this run. It's it's that good. It proved something was possible. Now, it does have the 8 seconds of time save from Sandwich Driving. It could save more, though. Um... There's this strat that I don't- I tried it, I believe, about ten times, and I never got it a single time. Where you grab the nitro. Not the nitro. You nitro on a dirt pile during ring to bounce up the dirt pile and grab the extra so that you can get do another sandwich out of bounds. And the original sandwich out of bounds saved like 11 and a half seconds or some shit. With minus, like, and then minus like the time it takes to do that. So we're talking like... Like, at that point it's saving like... 9 seconds? 
However, then this saves four more seconds, the new sandwich out of bounds. So if I did it, I could save 13 seconds on top of the eight, and that's 21 seconds. Additionally, um, there's a new time save in BBBH where, like, during a cutscene, we thought you had, like, no control during it, but it, it just fucks up if you touch a stick. If you go in the direction of a trampoline and then just cold beef a car wheel, but then just don't change the camera, you can, you know, uh, you'll be able to move. So it saves, like, two-ish? Like, it's a tiny bit of a stretch, but it might just barely be two seconds. So... God, how much time are we saving now? So that's, like, 13 seconds, and then that's 21 seconds, and then that's... Okay, so 23 seconds. <laughs> And there could be more as well. There is a route I don't do because it's horrible. I forget exactly how much it saved. I think it was like... Two and a half seconds? Or was it four and a half seconds? Fuck, I don't remember. If I'm saying two and a half and four and a half, I'll just make an average and say three and a half. Makes it easier. Um, It's faster to two frame a token in Navo Men, and use that load to warp to Rockside instead. Uh, but doing Rockside, like, just before Toast Early is absolutely cancerous, and it adds a lot of, uh, to the run, so... That also means you're doing... Uh, Sunday 2, the hardest segment in the entire game. Um... 12 minutes or 11 minutes later. That's absurd. But, let, uh, okay, let's say you do S three and a half seconds now, right? So, that's 26 and a half. So, let me just, like, put it here so I don't forget. Next up... Uh, what's next, actually? <laughs> I lost, like, 7 or 8 off the Golden Weenie 2. So... I can realistically save at least, like, 4 seconds there. Very realistically, save at least 4. So now that's 30.5. Oh yeah, with Rock Slide 2 as well, you could do Skydive in uh, both the time challenges, but you need like one frames for that, so it's not worth it. But if you did that, let me think. Like five seconds each? Yeah, like five seconds each. No, I'd even say, like, six if you do it perfectly. Actually, no, I'd say, like, six. Wait. It seems like 9.5 normally, I think. Yeah, so I'd say six. So that'd be 12 more seconds. So that is 42 and a half. And then basically everything's done in the run that could be done, I think. Unless I'm forgetting something, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. So at this point... This music's good, by the way. Um... It's like, oh, and then there's obviously like the 20-something in Rubadub. So at this point, we're straight up talking like... Like a minute 12. Or at least like a minute 11. What? Okay, man. Alright, thank you for that one. Well, that was AIDS. Um... So at this point, it's like, oh, well, 
You you can get a low 223, bro. What are you talking about? Stop fucking whining. You're a bitch. So, the sandwich driving thing is genuinely pretty fucking absurd. Doing that strat three times is already going to be a nightmare, but doing it with that strat that I haven't gotten a single time... I need a practice mod for it. I need it, and I don't know if it's going to get made, so... It needs to be very specifically done. It needs to be, like, a couple rings need to be active, because you'll have a very specific angle because of the rings. So you need to, it needs to be exactly like how it is in run, so... That would ruin the fucking early game so bad, dude. It'd make it abysmal. So right now, it's pretty realistic to, like, not have it in the run right now. So now we're down to 58 seconds. Then, um, there was also time save in Sunday 2, by the way, but, like, it wasn't exactly realistic. It's, like, just barely not really realistic. Especially given how good the rest of the run was, so, yeah, I'm just not going to count it. But we'll get to that now, because you could say, well, what about these time saves? The 12 seconds for Rockside is just ridiculous. So, that's 46. There is, like, the 1.5 and now that we're in Bungie, but again, there's, like, the run was, like, so good, there's just, like, negating shit. Although, I did gold in all extras in now men by, like, a second or two recently, and that would actually transfer to my hundo gold, I haven't done that yet, I need to do that. Um, I can't remember certain things, I know I got perfect guest jumps. Now the men combat was really good, BBBH combat was really good, and that was, like, the whole thing about this. This time save is basically just, like... I forgot, well, it was like sandwich driving and rubber dub. And I kind of forgot what else. Um. What else was it actually? Yeah. What did I get 46 from? Oh, yeah, the 3.5 in Rockside 2 as well. That's not happening. That's just absurd. So 42.5. Um. Uh, why isn't music playing? Video paused. Continue watching. Fuck off, bro. So again, that might seem good, but again, like, the rest of the run, other than Sunday, and like, Weenie, and st oh yeah, Weenie was the other one, so it's just Weenie, Sandwich Driving, and Rubber Dub. And Rubber Dub, Weenie's pretty much negated by getting other shit. Oh, I completely forgot. To the 1 minute 11. I don't do, um, Plank Sponge Ball late anymore. It's, it was so cancerous. I'm trying to remember how much that saved. I believe it would save, like... After factoring that I get to now do Magnetic Pickup in Sunday Macho. Or in, uh, Knucklehead Macho because of it. Or because I don't do it anymore. But also, I don't get to do it while I'm... Yeah, so... Four and a half, maybe, I'm losing. Because I was just losing time to it, like, nearly every... I, I couldn't remember the last... I, dude, I, I didn't save time with it for like two weeks straight or something of doing runs nearly every day. I couldn't take it anymore. Even in my PB. Even in my PB. Not my PB. My previous PB. Actually, it might have been my this PB. I don't remember if I had implemented the change. No, no, no. no. It's free, t free time save there. Because I fucked it up in a way that lost me like a second and a half. Overall. Compared to not doing it. But I don't think that was this run. I think it was a run before it. So. That's the other one. So technically it add up to like a minute 15. And then other stuff like micro stuff. So now we're at like a minute 20 probably. But yeah again. Not happening. I would say that it is with the little bit of time save and just like. It would take weeks of grinding again. I always have to grind this category for like six, seven weeks. I think I could get like... Bef by the end of the year? By the end of the year, I would say that I could get... Um...
I think I'll be able to PB. I think, especially if there's just like one more stress when it says like full five seconds, like I predicted for the other two. Which would probably be weenie out of bounds or something. Actually, with the extras involved, I don't even know if you could do weenie out of bounds. Because the extras are just in like extremely. One of them is in a horrible spot for the keys. Yeah, so you can't do weenie out of bounds in all extras in Hundo, at least in his current state. Or it had to save, or if it did save a billion seconds, then it would save time overall, but it just be, had to be, be done the most jank way possible. <sighs> this is so hard. I'm sure I'll PB, but I'm predicting either 1x or 2x. When I say 2x, I mean like 22 or something. Yeah, I'm gonna say t like low 2x or at best like 8. Like, ab the highest prediction I'll go to is 224.18. But more realistically, like 224.22 or something. Because I need to effectively get that run again with the 8 second time save in sandwich driving, which makes the run harder. So it'd still be harder than before I got, so, you know. So even a 22 is a bit ambitious. But I will definitely PB in the category again. Don't get it twisted though, the run is absolutely amazing. Um, I don't play any percent. I don't plan to, but... This will probably be improved again at some point. I, I don't know if it will be by the end of the year, but I think at some point, it'll probably get into the 3x territory. So, like, Sky's not a bad player, but obviously they're not gonna be able to do Neptune as fast as, like, the top-level runners can. Like, what's Sky's Neptune gold? Oh, uh, they, they don't... They don't have, like, a thing. Oh, it's doing it again. So I don't know what their gold is here, but like, my gold is like a 341 or something, and a runner like Sky probably would have like a 345 or 344. Plus I'm sure there were other micro mistakes anyway. Uh, oh wait, they lost 16 seconds at one point. Oh yeah, no, never mind then. You could, nah, okay, it, eventually 2x will be possible. It'll be like a god run. For any quite a fast Xbox too, but assuming uh, when I say fast, I don't mean like B drive though. I predict a two X uh, at some point in time, and maybe like one improvement for the end of the year. As for this, I don't think it's happening. This is also an amazing PB. It's not as good as it was because it got better at combats, but it like I. <laughs> I would, um, I golden now that I'm in combat since this run by, like, god, like, fucking 10 seconds or something. And again, 12 seconds from Sandwich Out of Bounds. Before the, okay, by the end of the year, though. Oh, yeah, and this PB, I think, had Plank Spongebob late, but I don't think I actually saved time with it. Let's have a look. Oh, I fucked it up. So I had I had to do it early. Why did I have to do it early? Oh, because I lost health. Yeah, so I had to do it. So compared to my PB, then I'm not lose uh, losing any time. Yeah, okay. I predicted two sixteen then before the end of the year, but I'm talking like two sixteen fifty eight or something. But again, it is like my son best. Friend. It's it's two fourteen now. Um, I don't know what exact. And obviously, after sandwich driving, it's gonna be even lower. Let me open up a live split actually. God, I have so many splits and stuff. Um, Whistle tokens? There it is. 
2, 14, 30, and then after the 8 seconds from SD-102, that's an 8, and then because of milliseconds as well, yeah, so it's effectively 70. Um... I gave a 405 a B. Seems a bit harsh. Oh god, that's Sunday too. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna say like. I like how I called a cleanup as if I even have an opportunity to like have to, yeah, if I miss a two frame or something, go back and get it. Maybe, like, throwing through, but I would have probably done that earlier in the run because of scrolls. God, this music's busting, too. Vampire, yeah. I, I figured it was Vampire. It wasn't positive. Dude, these splits. Dude, what the hell? It's all A and S until fucking Rock Slide. And then now the man is S, so I can't even, like, beat it, and then... So, I can't be minus until, like... Oh my god, okay, yeah, no, I, I just, like, can't be minus until, like, bare minimum, like, Rockside 2, more realistically, like... Uh... 308, hold on. 249. I can't... Can I really call that 8 here, 20 seconds off? 19. Eh, I don't know. This might be even harder to beat than I thought. <sighs> Fuck, dude. Okay, I, I'm sure I'll beat this before the end of the year. Honestly, I'm pretty iffy about 216. At best, it's like a 216 59. Or 58, but without any new strats, I don't, I don't see it. Like, uh, I could maybe see like a two-second PB or something, but then what's the point of coming back then? Very iffy about that. I PB'd in this today. I got 112.09 and I lost 14 seconds in SCDA to my to my batteries dying. So in terms of objective skill, I got um 111. 55. And I made mistakes. Um, if I load up the splits right now. Um, this will be a more accurate thing. I'll just remove an attempt afterwards. So. Not much time save going on here. Um. Oh, yeah, golded. Oh, God. But then this... This rely- if I get the- if I get the jumps, then yeah, I'll, I'll like, quite likely be minus, but otherwise, no chance. This- okay, this was actually terrible. I don't know how- I genuinely don't know how I lost two point- I could imagine, like, a second, I have no idea how I lost the other 1.5, literally have no clue. This was bad as well, this was abysmal- okay, so I should- even without the one frames in rubber dub, I should absolutely be minus at this point. Absolutely should be minus, I don't know, about like three seconds or something? Minus three seconds. Um, this could have been a little faster. This was good. Yeah, this is pretty much as fast as it could have been without Spear Boost. This was really good. This was abysmal. This was good. Standard. 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 Bad. Standard. Quite above average. Actually, this is pretty good as well, actually. And then I... Oh, God. And then... But then this is a lot, but, like, it's not like... I don't know. I should realistically save, like, eight seconds here or seven. Eh, a bit iffy. No, no, no. Okay, well, I can gold this. Dude. My gold is not middle door. Like, I really am overdue for a gold here, at least half a Dude, the, literally the past, like, ten times I've gone for middle door, I just haven't gone it. So, cringe. And then this was amazing. This is gonna be hard to beat. It was quite a good run. I don't know what I'd rate it out of ten. Like... God, probably like a fucking... Like a one...
I don't know. But I say one, I don't know. I'd probably consider this run like an 8 out of 10. That's why I said though when my PB was a 112.32 or something. Dude, that run was always kind of annoying because at the time when I got it back in 2022, it was really good. But I got a run that was 112.20 and it would have PB'd if it went for Mindy Skip. It would have been 112.20, rather I mean. But it wasn't because of Mindy Skip. So it was always bitter. And now I got... I would have gotten a 111. Okay, so... The 11220, since then, there's been about 11 seconds of implement of time save added. Which actually takes me to 11209. So I now finally have a run that's like as good as that, right? Is it, except the stuff, all the stuff I've implemented adds at least a tiny bit of difficulty or more. So, so even though. So I saved the 11 seconds, but it was technically even better than that in terms of like skill. But now. I lost 14 to control to my controller disconnecting, which is like so cringe how that my batteries are done charging. Yeah, fucking speaking of the batteries. Speaking of the batteries. Uh, but they won't, dude. They lasted like several streams, though. They lasted up me like forever. And and I, after the after not this stream like I had today, but the one before that, I was like, yeah, I need to charge my batteries, and I forgot. And then look what happened. I have considered getting a wired controller, but like, it costs more. Like sometimes I really I want to be really far away because I need to like open the window or something, and I can't do that. Without, like, mashing through text on a wireless controller or something like that. Or, like, whatever. <laughs> anyway, this run is pretty good, but I feel like I can't... Like, in terms of skill, I got 111. I feel like I, I need to keep going. So... Yeah. At the end of the year... I would say, like, a 111, like... 4x, like 43 or something, like 111.43 by the end of the year. Something like that. There's like no more time saves, I think. Uh, no more strats I can think of that I don't do. The only one, there's this horrible guest strat where you can like, after setting a checkpoint, you start doing one frame jumps back, and then you get an extremely precise hard angle, build up speed while you're practically falling off the edge, steer yourself like hard left or like hard up left, and then do well-timed double jump to barely grab an extra. And it, I don't know how much it saves exactly, but I think it'd probably be like roughly 20 seconds, like 18 to 20 something seconds, so like that would say 20. Actually, no, I no, I wouldn't say twenty. I'd say like fifteen. Eh, like fourteen. Yeah, I'd say like fourteen. But like that is absolutely abysmal. That's like never being done. Fast way getting anything else? I don't think so. Oh yeah, with all tokens, by the way. There's a route that saves like seven to eight seconds where you do uh, creak late with guitar glide. So like, instead of doing creak early, you do the end of depression immediately, which is like, it loses a couple seconds. And then you go into 3k with not enough tokens, so you waste a load and talk into Mindy. Oh no, you skipped, it, it, it's hard to, ex to explain, but you don't actually have to waste a clam animation. But you, but you do waste a load and like a couple seconds in the level itself to then do SD-102. So you do... So depression, you just get done with it instantly. Sandwich, load in 3k, immediately do sandwich again, which is like the worst thing in the entire universe, but it would better justify doing th uh, the three sandwich out of bounds with the current strat. Then you go back to 3k with enough tokens, and it's like absolutely AIDS. And like, 
you'll down a token like the whole time and I don't even know how viable it is now because like the old tokens are always pretty optimal like one frame two frame stuff it might even get you to have to revert some stuff and lose like a second here a second there I'm not, I'm not sure um I can quickly check again Dude, sometimes I type in live split and it just doesn't come up on my search thing. It's like really odds. <laughs> um, so if I open up all tokens. Okay, I have like no token counts. Yeah, see, here's the problem. I do a route that skips floating block. For then, because it saves a, like a couple seconds, and I wouldn't be able to do it because I did 25 tokens. But I'd have 24 otherwise, so I'd have to like negate shit. Actually, what's in that 118? Do I do bungee? Do I do now that I'm in bungee, or did I save it for later? Oh, I saved it for later. 52 seconds. Yeah, no, so I could actually... No, that wouldn't be an issue. That wouldn't be an issue. Because I just put it earlier and not lose any time. Oh, wait, I would lose a little bit of time. No, 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 no. I lied. I wouldn't lose any time. Um, I'd have 40 out of here. Yeah, so it actually work out. So there's actually no issues with, with that, with routing. So, I'd save like 8 seconds. So basically, you do Creek after Guitar, and you do a Guitar Glide Clip, and then you, let, you, you land on a Marshmallow out of bounds, and then you hold R, and then like, you Guitar through, like, you clip through the, uh, the, the Chocolate, and then you buffer the token of Sponge Rabbit, so it's like 7 seconds, but... The issue with that is obviously, um, well, not obviously, but basically, when you land, so the clipping is inconsistent. It only works about like maybe 60% of the time. What happens the other 40%? You clip into the marshmallow itself, and the only way to, to save that is to reload the level. Why does that happen? We don't know. Is there a way to prevent it? Not as far as we know. And even if we, and even if it were 100% consistent, I'd be hesitant anyway because it would absolutely ruin the early game. This category is already not liked because it's so identical to No Mindy Skip, and when, whenever it's not identical, it's usually worse than it. And even we're in the times where it begins to separate itself, it's just generally outclassed pretty often by 100%. I pretty much like the only thing all tokens has over, over Hundo, other than being a tiny bit shorter, which doesn't really count. It's actually like eight minutes shorter. Actually, it's like seven minutes shorter. Yeah. 8920. Yeah, it's like eight. It's like seven minutes shorter. Um. The only thing it really has over it is, like... Dude, even Hundo's... Because of Magnetic Pickup, like, Hundo is so much better now. It has, like, Magnetic Pickup, um, strats for Gask and Rubber Dub. So, you do Rubber Dub in late game instead of early game. So, in the early game, backtracking is just sandwich driving. And you save Gask for later, which means that you do Sunday 2, like, 12 minutes earlier, which is just really good. Or no, it's like 10 minutes earlier or something. And then late game is like way more interesting and harder than it was before. And it's way more like choke central makes it like more fun to watch. And harder to play and like more nervous and stuff. So it, it helps you train your nerves as well. It just makes you a better player. So basically... I don't even know what the point I was making was. I guess the point I'm making is that, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, um... 
The only thing that all tokens really has of a hundo is BBBH backwards, but no Mindy Skip has it in the exact same form, and no Mindy Skip also just doesn't have the uh, unbelievable amount of padding. The only thing that no Mindy, the old tokens really adds that isn't like padding is that Plank Sponge Bowl late route, which no one does because it's horrible. Um, and now that I'm in combat, which is just, there is skill to it, but it gets to a point where some of it's just luck because of how much enemy spam there is. So it is always going to be naturally at least a little inconsistent, which makes it kind of aids, which kind of makes it run a bit worse. And BBBH combat. Which, that's still a bit enemy spammy, but it's like mostly fine, and it is skillful, and stuff. It's more on the aid side than not, but I guess it's technically, that's more of a subjective thing. So, a token. A to like, a token, and it's not definitive what's at all, if it's like better or not, than, yeah, than not having it. So, it's basically... No Mindy skip endurance test, even though Hundo is basically already that, but kind of inarguably better. Like fucking toast early, like as a beginner is is AIDS. And, like the guest jump would probably be AIDS as well. Uh the magnetic pickup one. But dude, it's just better in like every way, other than that. like even for like intermediate players, it's just better. Like it, it's only adding like even to bad players that only adding like nine minutes or something in the extras are. I forgot what point I was making. <laughs> life of a life of a dummy. So yeah, so no pull storage like one one twelve. NMG like I think I said one X like twelve or something like one twenty twelve or something. Hondo, like, 224-22. This will probably be, like, a 4x before the end of the year, and then it'll eventually be 2x. This will be, like, 0x, maybe. And this will be, um, like, 111 4x. And, my, and I'll get 59 summer best this year, definitely. Probably, probably like, earliest, without any new strats, earliest I can imagine is, like, October. Even then, that's kind of doubtful. Um, let's go to category extensions. This isn't going to be as long, this part, because I don't care about these categories as much. And some of them are really outdated and shit anyway. Early powers, there's like this really horrible strat you can do that saves like 15 seconds or more. And it's, I just don't know if it'll ever be available for runs, I'm not going to lie. But there's that, and then the four seconds from sandwich driving. And, uh, the massive, massive plank, uh, plank 2 sponge glide strat. It saves, like, 14. But then your man leaves it down. That's the issue with, like, early powers was a better category with unupgraded moves. But now with upgraded moves, it's just kind of gotten worse because, like, with unupgraded moves, it's gotten worse because we've gotten so optimized now. That we're skipping so many manlies, we just don't have enough, and it's really just making it more toxic. I think upgraded might be the future. It adds skill, but when you get to top level, it just makes it pretty much inarguably worse. And that's the problem. So... Anyway, assuming... <sighs> I don't know if it'll happen this year. Because I don't know what Usa wants to do, but... Assuming it, like, Usa does want to play, I think the world record would be, like, 2x, like, 39 2x before the, uh, by the end of the year. With those two strats and then, like, some manlies, but just better execution elsewhere, and then, yeah, you could barely get a 2x. Yeah, I think it'd be 39 2x if he plays. I could get world records, but I don't do the 3k clip. And, like... I don't like the category, and he's just better than me at the clips. There's also like a Nathalie Men clip I don't do, because it's horrible. But I could get it, I just, yeah, I, he would be better at it than me, he could do it. EPAE. 
the so rubber dub skip in this category saves like god how much does it save like i think it's like a minute or something and i pb'd only by like 40 seconds or something and like if i remember correctly the run is just not good but it's hard to remember exactly but like with with like couple strats like there hasn't been much found in terms of extras especially for a category like this if I do decide to play it, then like 2x, I guess, because I can't remember is good. One thing I might do in this, by the way, is just rank my AU splits at the end, I'm not sure. Because if I, I forgot to rank them the last PB, I need to rank them again. Early task unlocks. My run is not very good, I remember. Um If I remember correctly, I haven't Change the category extensions, yeah. So I don't do a str I don't do a route that saves quite a bit of time. I forget how much I'm losing, but it saves a lot of grinding in SCDA. And to combat it, like the manlies, this has the same problem with the manlies are just too much. So I had to do guess too early, which wastes a load. So I'm wasting a lot. So with so the idea with like the fast route. You do unupgraded bull Dana, so you never need to upgrade bull, and then you say, and then you replace depression combat when, with the uh, SD-102, which is faster anyway, but only by like a little bit, so it wasn't worth it. With the new strat, new sandwich out of bounds would probably be worth it, but like, back then it was only, like, compared to like, decent or good RNG, like, you don't see in like two seconds or something by doing sandwich out of bounds against, which just wasn't worth it. But, it might be worth it now, but... Yeah, so back then it wasn't worth it, so you'd have to factor like, that time save into the route. I think it saved like 20, 30 seconds, like 25 seconds. Sky timed it before. Anyway, you lose six seconds for slower Dennis, but then you negate. Um, that's negated by needing to go to, to need to, needing in this route to waste a load. However, it's not a full load because it's a small level, so it's like got a faster load. So you're like plus two right now, but then you just save. But then, then you're like. Minus zero after sandwich driving, and then it'll just you save so much time from the grinding. And nowadays, like it'd be it'd be more like minus four, and then the grinding. But I might just continue to do this route and do SD one hundred two as is. Although only doing it for like six seconds at a time, so it'd be cringe. But it would remove some RNG. And I get like a tiny bit more manlies. Well, I don't think manlies are an issue anymore. And also doing guest jumps immediately is like fucking fantastic. So. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so this has some time save. So that's good. That's like five seconds. And then I think at the two frame here, I can generally expect myself to get that. So now I'm like minus 11. Um... Oh my god, okay, um, on a good run, I should be saving at least, like, 20 here, I feel like, on a good run, so now I'm, like, minus 31. I should be expecting to get this, so I'm, like, minus 30. I don't think I ranked the splits here, either, because this is C and this is D for some reason. So now I'm, like, minus, like, 35. Oh my lord. I always get this first try these days. That's, like, 14 seconds, holy shit. I'm, like, minus 50 right now. I should be... Wait, what's this? Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Oh, but I got the one frames. Ah, fuck. Oh my god, I should be saving, like, half of that. Man, this was good, and, like, this is normal, this was good. Okay, and then the rest of it was Gucci, but, like... Dude, that's, like, still really bad. Like... Oh, wait... So, <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, if I decide to play this category, 42 before the end of the year. 42. If I switch to the Dennis route, like, yeah, th then it's like mid-42 at that point, but assuming I still do the route, and I decide to do SD-102 instead of, instead of Depression Combat as well. Like, at that point, like, fucking... If I decide to play at least a, a sub-43-15, but I, I would say 42, like 42 5x. Uh, 
Um, Oval tokens. So this is even before. Okay, so old tokens has been fucked by Manly's as well. I legitimately think that if you tackled the category again at a top at the top level, because keep in mind, people even back into media players. It was starting to, like, grab, like, stacks of, like, 80 manlies, and it would take, like, one to two seconds to grab. I legitimately think at this point, especially with the strats now and the movement and stuff, I think you have to, like, grind and plank for the manlies, which means that we don't have a manly problem, but we're, we're wasting time, but... My run was absolutely a atrocious back then, and now we got, like, plank sponge glide, and... I, I don't, like... On a good run, I don't see why 33 wouldn't be possible, but I don't plan to play the category again. But I would say if you get a good run, I'd, I'd say even 33 would be possible. But it need to be quite a good run, I'd imagine. But I'd say 33. Like, if I decide to tackle it, then low 34 at least. But, or mid 34, I guess, at least. But then, like, if it, if it was good, it'd be like low 34. And then if it was pretty good, it'd be like. I imagine it'd be 33, so can PB by over two minutes in this fucking 36 minute category. Frogfish. Frogfish is interesting. My summer best in the category is slightly faster than Oosters, but he's always been better at playing close to some best than Frogfish. He, granted, he has more attempts in the category. Well, let me show you what. It, okay, so. This. I lost my old split, so I actually have like a little over a thousand, I estimate, attempts. Um, so basically the run is just like, by frogfish standards, I should be saving like at least half a second in depression. Sandwich driving, we obviously have like Gucci time save there. I should be saving like five, se uh, five seconds there. Um, so I'm like minus 5.5. Um, rubber dub. I should be saving like a second. So I'm like minus six point five. Yeah. So I can save like six point five seconds. What was my milliseconds? Okay. So I could get a thirteen fifty two. And it wouldn't be absurd, it'd just be pretty good. It'd be like 8.5 out of 10 run or something, which is like not insane by frog- or like 8 out of 10, which is not insane by frog for standards. That's the thing though, I would need to put in a lot of work- because this run is really good. I would need to put in a lot of work to PB by that amount of time. Although, I do slightly faster frogfish now, but I don't know how much it applies to this category, actually. Yeah. Could I beat the, his run? Absolutely, but... Oh wait, retimed to 13.57, it says. Okay, well that's interesting, but anyway... 13... Wait, hold on, did I get my timing wrong? Half a second here, five seconds here, so 5.5. 6.5. Oh, so it'd be 51, 1351. 13-4x is absolutely possible, but like, oh my god, dude. If we need out of bounds ever implemented in this current state, it's only gonna be this fucking category. Jesus Christ. Assuming that isn't implemented though, because fuck that, like. I yeah, so am I gonna go for this? I don't know. I don't know if it was just gonna go for it, but if I did go for it. I would say I would get like a 1353 or 52 before the end of the year. This category is really hard to remember shit in because it, this category, you're allowed to use any cheats, but you have to get all the platforming level tokens, which includes boss fights. Um, It's really hard to remember it, and it's partially like load dependent. Uh, so. Holy lord. Five... Okay, um... But I only have 20 attempts, so I don't know how optimized some of this shit is. Like, none of this really transfers. Fifty-one. 
15 here? Jesus. That seems a bit... Hmm. I, I don't know what any of these splits mean, but it's a short category, so I don't know how good this is. I really don't. I'd have to watch it back or something. So for now, uh, you know, postponed. <laughs> Cheap sin? It's really hard to say. With faster cheats, you could definitely get a 352. And then there's that one second time so I talked about earlier, so that's 351. And then if you play on B drive, you can maybe get like a 350. Yeah, okay, I guess it's at 350, but I really don't want to play this category anymore. I reckon it's to pray well, though, so I, I think... Um, by the end of the year, it'll either be 352 or 351, leaning more towards 352. So yeah, that was, that was interesting, wasn't it? Dude, did it pause again? Yes, it did. Okay, so I spent like an hour seven on like the main thing, and then I spent um, 14 minutes on that part of sun. So the last thing I want to do is just like show how I go over like my rank splits. As you can see, yeah, yeah, Poggies, like a boss. Like a boss, like a boss. Um, uh, let me just make sure that I don't actually like... You know, just in case. Um. Twitch. Uh. Where the fuck is my split? Ah, oh, the split ranks. I found them. I found them. Three D object shortcuts. I don't know what's up about that, but. I don't know why this is here, I don't know why this is here, but... Yeah, this is like, S. Because it's like within like a second. Depression? It's within two seconds, so I call it A. This was pretty good, I call it S. I call this like, A. What, what you need to like... It, it's, like, relative to, like, what you expect yourself and, like, to get and, like, how far off you are, you know, you gotta factor those things. Yeah, that's S. That was definitely S. The, see, because here's the thing, right? It's like, oh, this is so far from some of the best, but it's literally, like, I just missed the one-frame jumps. Like, that's kind of standard, so I guess I would call it A, because, of course, standard's pretty... It's what I normally get. I need to look into something here. Because of the way I grab an extra and it gets me like stuck in a target, so I purposely like lose time so I don't get stuck in a target, but I feel like it might just be faster to just keep yourself stuck in a target or break even. I need to time that. In this run, I didn't bleed that much like I, I didn't try to lose that much time, so I got stuck in a target anyway, so I lost extra time, but still call it S. I, I need to look into the thing more. So this was actually horrible. You might think it's like, oh, it's only 2.6, but literally, or 2.55, but like, dude, I shouldn't be losing more than like point like six here, honestly. This weenie was bad. I got like the bullshit thing. We just get launched into the air for no reason and bonk. However, a, a, I never get like a 309, so I got a factor that. So when I f factor that, it's like, alright, I, I normally get like high 310, so I'll call it B. Um, this frogfish was abysmal. This is definitely below average. I, I don't remember what happened, but... Four seconds off the gold, almost? Like, nah. Three seconds? I called it, like, A, but... Nah, not four, dude. This was pretty fucking good. It didn't get spew boost, but I never get spew boost. For being exactly... So, spew boost saves five seconds, and I was six seconds off my gold. But now that the fifth segment's really hard. I got, I got, like, a fast ball at the beginning. And I got, like, I grabbed the patty quickly, and, like, I did everything else. But, like, 
I call it S. You gotta really, you know. Overall, so the way that I rank splits that have like, so this is one level. This is to both of these are now they're men. So what I do, the first split is what that particular segment is, and then, and then this one is like the overall thing. So if this went horribly, but then this went really well, it, it probably average out to like B or something like B tier, but this was actually really good. So although if this was bad, then this was good, then again, it'd be averaged out. It's a little inconsistent. You can get a program to do it automatically for you, by the way. I didn't download it back in the day because it didn't used to work for, um... It didn't used to work for... Like, subsplits. And... But I like doing it now anyway, manually, because even though it's a bit of a pain, and I forget sometimes... It puts you, like... It forces you to evaluate your run. It forces you to take a look at it. That all, like, when I look back at the All-Access run, like, 10 minutes ago or whatever, like, I was, like, or 20 minutes ago, before I looked at it, it, it was worse in my head than I actually, and then when I actually saw it, I was like, oh, it's actually quite good. So, I didn't think it was bad, but I thought it was, like, a 7 out of 10, but no, it's actually, like, 8 out of 10. So, it, uh, evaluating your run, like, mentality is, like, probably the most important thing in speedrunning. Other than, obviously, just being good, Kek W. I struggle a ton with mentality. I might make a video about it, but it would just be super conflicted. Me just saying random shit, like, conflicting statements. But mentality, like, it's even more important than I realize. Even just, like, a bad mentality could just make you not want to play the next day. And even that on its own, like, you could have PB'd that day. Let alone, like, how you feel, like, in the middle of, like, a streamer and... Session in general, like playing. Um. Now this was <laughs> to say it was horrible is kind of an understatement, and then this was good overall. But this is like C tier at fucking best. Like, I would have called this split like a individually like A tier, and it is hard to get fast. But like this ruins it. Off the off the golds, I lost like five and a half here. And then, like, 20 almost here. So I lost, like, 25 seconds. I call that C tier, yeah. This is A. Because I can't expect myself to get Dennis 2 frame. Um, I call this S. I got an unnaturally fast cycle the other day. I don't know how I got it, but it was super fucking fast. Uh, I can't exp- but 230 is, like, pretty good. This is S. This sucked. These days, I'm more consistent than ever with Sandwich- uh, with Sunday Jump. I still only get, like, 6% of the time, but still, or, like, 70. But, like, 7 seconds off, like, nah, man. Definitely C tier. I could've just not gone for it, and I still would've just saved a couple seconds, which is just, like, cringe. Like, I could just not go for it from now on. I just automatically save like two to three seconds there every time I get there. I'm not gonna do that, but I'm just saying. Like, that's, you know. So, that jump is quite hard. I had to do it a lot of times in Hundo and all tokens, which is why it's so hard. This is excellent. This easy S tier, because I got a two frame. This was amazing. This was not good at all. And then this was quite good, so that, this is hard to say because this is the second. So you know how that I said the hardest is all tokens and hundos Sunday two. The second hardest split in the entire game is plank in this category. It's like seven. It's like barely seven minutes long. It's so fucking hard. The very beginning of it is like identical to no pause storage. Um. Yeah, it's like absolutely identical, and then it's Plank Spongebob. Oh, we use Plank Spongebob anyway, no Mindy Skip. Or no major glitches, but like, dude, it just fucking... Sometimes it's just, like, I've been doing it the same way for years, and yet somehow I'm still not fast enough for the cycle. Sometimes I just don't get the fan bounce, I just don't understand why. I was thinking of doing a log for it, just so I could just iron out the inconsistency, because the faster I get at this category, like, the more it matters, I just, I'm just inconsistent at it. <laughs> And it's just kind of embarrassing just be doing it since 2018 on and off, like, obviously, depending on the category I'm playing, and I just haven't played for some years before, but, or, like, months, but, yeah. I've never gone a literal entire year without running this game since, like, 2017, I think. 
No, even since 2016. Yeah, no. Like, yeah. Since I started learning this game in August, I haven't gone one... I haven't gone 12 months without playing this game. Wait, hold on. No, that's a lie. I did once. I didn't play movie from July 2018 to... Like, very late December 20... Or, like, uh, mid-December 2019. That was the longest I went. I still play Battle. So, if you factor playing Battle as, like, counting... Because I was still streaming the SpongeBob game... Then I've never gone 12 months. At that point, I would have gone, like, 11 months or something. Um... So... I lost, like, nothing here. I lost, like, 15 here. And I lost 5 here. And I could improve it by, like, 2... If, like, 3 seconds of a guard. So, based off, like, a really good gold... I lost... 23 seconds. I'd call that B tier. This was basically S... I have this really... I actually need to practice this. I've been talking about this for weeks. When I'm doing Guitar Glide... Um, whenever I'm, when I'm doing Guitar Glide All Extras... In All Extras to grab that one extra... Um, in Depression... Like, I always... like There's like always one or two boxes left on the left side... Because you need a pretty precise angle to like not have that happen. It loses like a second or two. And I just keep making a mistake. This category is AIDS, by the way, because... There's normally when you do Mindy Skip, there's only one opportunity for it to like not work. In all extra specifically, the best it saves a lot of time to bowl. So the extra that I just described in depression saves like four seconds or something, but then you get to set bowl storage there. So it actually saves like twelve or fourteen or something. But the issue, it doesn't just have a chance to fail Mindy Skip, it has a chance to crash after Knucklehead trying to load into Neptune. Or just be stuck on a black screen and crash. Hasn't happened in a while, it's quite rare, seems to be rarer than Mindy Skip failing, but yeah, that is a thing. So there's two opportunities. Um, I don't know if it's possible to like fail it and then it would it would have crashed anyways, like in but like I don't know, I have no idea. Um This was really good, except again, it's not as close as it seems because I should my a perfect goal would be like really high to 49. This is still really good, so this was S, and this was phenomenal, so this is S. And now we have the splits, so... S, A, S, A, A, S, 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 S... C, B, D, and then at this point I should definitely be minus, and then... Uh, I should definitely be minus at this point. And then I'll probably only be like minus 10 or something, and then I need to really keep my cool here. I'm only asking for 111 though, and then after that I don't know what to do because all my runs are too good. All my runs are just too good at that point. I think, like, the one I would do is, like... Maybe I'd go for an any percent run or something? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, that'll probably be a different video, but... This is already getting very long. So yeah, this is all over the place, but that's, like, the whole point of these videos. Basically, like, as time goes on, like, it becomes less and less likely for people to be able to find strats. And I just never know, like, what to... You know, I, I, I'm a terrible strat hunter. Desperately trying to save the frames, and only humans can only improve so much, etc. So, that's basically the video. Um, thanks, and bye.